Welcome back to B-Boy Brighton Nerd. Today we are going to be showing you the best way to get bounty and money in Blocks Roots. Now you are going to need to be, uh, you are going to need to be level 240 to be able to do this um, in the best way. So what you're going to want to do, as you can see, the Chief Warden, Warden and Swan are not here, so we are going to leave the game. And I'm going to wait for our friend Nerd to leave. It still says he's in blocks. Okay. Now, you just... It's much easier if you're doing it by yourself, but you can also do this with a friend, and it will not affect it at all. Okay, as you can see, there's somebody here fighting the Chief Warden. Uh, that is not what you're going to want, as you can see. He's fighting it right now. If somebody is fighting right now, I recommend you do not try to get the bounty but since this guy's so weak let's get the chief uh, warden and if you have a friend that is weaker than you make sure the weaker friend always gets the first hit on the boss oh we we killed him now if your friends are more op you just have them do the boss for you get him really low and then let them get the last hit oh i got the warden sword um, what does this look like again? Items, warden sword. Oh, that's kind of cool. Um, but then we you're going to get the warden quest. It's just the normal warden. And then again, let the weaker friend get the first hit off the boss. It is perfect. I missed. And always let your friend get the final hit. As you can see, my money has gone up a ton from just two bosses. And if Swan is there, you are going to want to kill Swan. But since he is not spawned in yet, um, just even if Warden and Chief Warden are here, just kill them for some easy um, extra money. Then you leave and rejoin the server again. And that is the best way in my in first C to get bounty and money. I hope and just for a little snippet at the end of this video, uh, I'll be showing you the best way to kill the swan. Let your friend get the first hit. And with rubber, killing the swan is really easy. You just want to get him trapped in the corner, which I was successful doing right there. But if you manage to get him trapped in here, it will be really easy to kill him. If you have a full that has a kind of knockback, if it doesn't, you're just gonna want to have to like run away from spawn and come back. Now that, when you see that help, it is low enough for them to hit them. And if you are looking to get the pink coat, you get it from swan. And look at I went from 1.81 uh 1,081,000 to 1,097,000 from one boss. And my bounty even raised. Now, if we get Chief Warden over here, you get 10,000 just from killing him with the quest. You're always going to want to get the quest no matter what level you are because it gives you way more money. Get the first hit. Um, and that is probably the best way to get in the C. Second C and third C will be coming a little, but since I am not white to third C yet and I haven't found the best way in second C. We will not be uploading that. But keep in mind I was at 181. Now get the warden quest. Then again, always let the weaker friend or the friend that's just a who just does a little less damage get the first hit and the last hit. Because that is the best way for me to get money. If you're doing this by yourself, uh, it's a little easier to Server. Um, but this is the probably the not the easiest way to gain money, but the most efficient way to gain money. As we, you can see, we can kill them really easy. And as you can see, I'm at one. I went from one million eighty-one thousand to one million one hundred fifteen thousand just from killing those three bosses. And you can keep server hopping if, say, your favorite fruit is in the shop. And that is the best way to gain money in Bloxroots.